You guys got it? All right, we good. Thanks for watching the video. Just kidding, guys. Welcome back to the channel. At it again, guys. We're getting through this boat mod. This has been a wild ride. Today we're working on framing the back deck. I actually figured this would be a really easy part of the conversion, but guess what guys, it's never easy. The hardest part of doing this rear deck will be, and I'm not sure if you guys can see, but we have a complete vertical bench right here. It comes up and over 90 degrees. The back transom is not. This is actually angled. I don't know what degree this is, but it doesn't go straight up. It comes up at an angle. So I've got to solve for that. That's going to be a little tough. I've got a couple ideas. Hopefully it works out pretty good. You guys can probably weigh in if you had this issue or have done a conversion where the transom does uh, come at an angle backwards, how you handled it. Leave a comment below. Would love to hear about it. So what I've done so far, guys, as you can see, I've taken out I don't know why these are actually in here, but I took them out. There's actually nothing behind it but the foam for the bench. So I'm not sure why that exists, but I went ahead and pulled out all four of these things. This is where I'm going to put my, I'll call them studs. So these are going to go by here, 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 and then I'll have the support bars going the other way. This is just a little example, guys. This is not actual. I'll have two hatches. As you can see, I'm going to have the gas tank here on one side the battery that's going to control the electronics all the lights all the other things except for the trolling motor will run off of this i'll have a separate two batteries up top for the trolling motor and then i'll have this as op open hatch space and a small amount of space right here for for anything storage bills pump will be down here i think i'm going to put it on this side i might actually put it over here not sure yet what i've done so far made my marks hopefully you guys can see them just did marks did measurements and marks on both the bench seat as well as the transom all right first things first guys i'll confirm my measurements and then start to put up the supports for the back deck i'll also do the supports on the back side as well the supports guys will be about three to four inches in height. Again, I need to have space to be able to rivet the support onto the bench and then also rivet the crossbars, the beams onto the top part of each support item. So we're gonna get those all up on the bench at step one. All right, guys, so, so far we've got all the brackets. Let's see if I can hold the light properly. We've got all the brackets across the front. I am gonna eventually put one bracket in this corner. There won't be a beam on it, but I just wanna have a little bit extra support. So I'll put one of these over here, at least that's the plan right now, and one underneath in this corner, just for a little bit of support on this Got about, about eight inches right here, so I need something in this corner, but I'm doing that last. That's not gonna be done now. So likewise, I'll do one on this side as well. So everything's looking pretty good so far. I'm gonna go ahead and move to the uh, transom side of the boat. I will need to move these uh, labels from the boat, this one and that one, and relocate them. I'll probably put this one down here and move this one down here so that they're out the way. So I'll be putting a, a crossbar right across this. Oh, look at that. My VIN number was right behind this plate. That is weird. I wonder why they did that. And it's facing this way, so you're supposed to read it from the back like this. Anyway, I think I'm gonna drill this out too and move it down here as well. I don't see why not. Hopefully this isn't like the mattress label that you're not supposed to take off your mattress, but I'm gonna relocate this along with this. Hopefully that's okay for me to do, but too late now. It smells like wet paint. 
All right, guys, I'm not sure if you can even see this, but I drew a line right across here, and that line lines up with the rear bench. So if I go straight across this bench to the transom at a level line, it hits right here. But what I'm noticing is as I'm going towards the side of the boat, the line goes up. So I'll have about one inch here and about two plus inches here. And I'm not sure why that is, but it's freaking me out. I don't know which way to go. Do I follow the line drawn from the rear bench to the transom or do I just make it two inches all the way across here so that it's even when looking off the back of the boat and you'll see the same gap between the deck and the top of the transom. I'm not sure which way to go, but I gotta figure that out. It's doing it on both sides. I got a line there too going across and as I go across to the right, it gets shallower and shallower. I decided I'm actually gonna go with the measurement from the transom only two inches down. So over here it's two inches. I'm gonna make sure it's two inches all the way. All right, so that's what I'm deciding to go with guys. Hopefully you guys can see that. Hopefully it works out. One way to find out. All right, guys, we're just gonna seal up this hole. Got this marine adhesive. This is the 5200, the good stuff. All right, guys, got the holes all sealed up. Probably touch that up with some green paint later. Oh my gosh, I cut the wrong. Well guys, just made a big blunder. Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite me later, but I cut the wrong piece of aluminum. This is the piece I cut as the beam to go across and I took three inches off of it, thinking I had this piece in my hand. Great, this is my spare aluminum that I need to be cutting, not that. So I gotta cut a new piece for here. And I'm running low on aluminum, so hopefully that does not come back to bite me later. Because I will be very pissed if that's the case. Can't do anything about it now. I can't believe I did that, but that's what happens when you lose focus or you just have too much stuff all over the place. You end up cutting a piece that you actually need to use. So uh, I'm going to take a deep breath and get back to it. All right, guys, just want to show you really quick how I'm doing this. Again, the transom is at an angle. I need to create a 90 degree angle, though, in order for this cross beam to be level. All right, went ahead and attached a three inch piece of aluminum to the transom, and then I'm just going to rivet in this. You can see I'm correcting the angle right here with the beam that's going across, okay? So that's what I'm doing. That side, of course, I don't have to worry about it because the bench is, is a 90 degree angle already, but back here is not. So I'm angling this, creating my own 90 degree angle. I'm gonna drop two or three rivets right in here. Hopefully that will firm this up really good and hold it in place. 
I'm feeling pretty good that it'll work out and it'll be stable because the area back here is pretty small. It won't take as much weight as let's say the front deck. I would not try this, but I wanna try this out. This has been my way of compensating for the transom being tilted. I'm sure other people have other ways of doing this, probably much better ways than me, but this is what I came up with. This is what I'm going with, guys. guys I forgot to show you how this came out level hopefully you guys can see that I'm pretty proud of that right there it's working out pretty good I riveted this kind of ugly but that's okay it's strong this side is much better got four rivets I was drilling from the wrong side and trying to angle it from over here like a dummy where I could have just came from here and drill from this side but rivet from this side I don't know, I just had a brain fart, making things more difficult on myself than I need to. That's what that's all about. So let's get the rest of these up. Let's keep it moving, guys. As you can see, I got all the main supports up for the rear deck. I did the support similar to how I did the front deck by starting with the posts first, just three inch posts. Angle aluminum, this is all 1 16th inch. And then I put posts on the back, created my own 90 degree angle like I showed you guys previously. Now I wanna go ahead and put the crossbars, the beams across. I'm gonna put one here. I'm gonna put one over on this side uh, in the middle, right here. All right, so I'll have just enough space here for the gas motor or electric motor, hint, hint. Put another beam here. I'll probably put one extra support right here, just for good measure, if someone steps right here. No one can step right here because of how the corner of the boat is done. I'm gonna do the cross beams a little bit different, guys. Before, I notched it out so that it would be completely flush. As you probably see in my other videos, there's links to the front deck framing at the top of the screen right now. So you can check that out to see how I framed the front deck. And what I did again was I notched it out so that the cross beam would be completely flush with the beams going from front to back on the boat. This time, what I'm gonna do, and this is not the actual piece, I'm just using this to demonstrate. I am going to actually put it on top. What's really driving me to do it this way is on the back, I don't have anything to mount the back cross beam to, because again, the transom is at an angle. So that's what I'm gonna do. This is coming along very well, guys. Uh, we're almost done this, guys, and it is very, very solid. I'm actually happy I went with putting the cross beam on top of the other beams. It made it that much more solid. Next, we're gonna put one cross beam here. I'm actually gonna put the motor on here to make sure that I have the measurements right. Yeah, I just realized that this thing right here was in here. And I took it out thinking that it would get in the way of the aluminum, but the aluminum is actually sitting 1 16th of an inch off of the deck. So in reality, I could have had this in there, but can't do anything about that now. I'm gonna leave that alone, dude. Anyway, live and learn. Maybe I should have tried it before taking it out, but oh well. All right, let's wrap this up. Let's get it. 
All right, guys, it fits. This is gonna be pretty sweet. Whoever is fishing back here, which of course would be my brother for the most part, will have three feet going from front to back. The actual bench seat is 62 inches wide. So that's like a three by five foot space. All right, so we just pre-drilled some holes in the back of this. I'm gonna lay this up here. This wasn't part of the original plan, but I figured why not just finish it off. Just in case, I might feel like making a little tiny hatch right here. Right now, that is not the plan, but I'd rather at least have this in place in case I change my mind later. And all I have to do is cut this out. I'm just gonna stick two pieces across there and there, and call it a day. All right, the reason I'm sanding off these edges from the uh, drill hole is because they actually stick out of the aluminum. I don't know if because my drill bit is a little worn out or not, but because I want this to be completely flush, I don't want anything causing this angle to be lifted off of the bench. I'm just being extra careful, sanding down any extra aluminum that's sticking out from drilling the holes through. It just helps to have one of these handy, sand off any rough edges so that it's flush when you mount it. Just drilled out the rivet right underneath here. I made a mistake and install this a little bit too high. So I'm gonna drop it down just a little bit so that it is indeed flush with the deck. That does it right there. This is actually the first part of the boat that I did in one day, start to finish. And that's just putting it all together. I, I took a lot of time thinking through how I wanted to frame it and make it work for what I needed to do. And I mean, I think I took about four or five different days of just coming out here, staring at the boat, taking measurements, thinking of different scenarios and so on. But this is what we've got, guys, and I'm very, very happy. I went with all one 16th ounce framing and it's solid. So if you have a smaller area to deck, I can vouch that it will hold up. I mean, this thing is solid. I was gonna put a support beam underneath this and uh, tie it into this transom support, but I don't even need it. This thing is rock solid. Normally I'll vacuum this out, make it look really good, but technically it's 1 a.m. guys, 1 a.m. in the morning, and my wife will kill me if I start running the shop back, back right now. So we'll clean it up tomorrow, take some pics, get this video ready for you guys. I am extremely tired, guys. It's time to hit the sack. I really hope you guys got something out of this. I'm enjoying this journey. It is a true grind, but we're getting there, guys. I'm very excited. I can see the finish line. We're gonna start electronics very, very soon. Deck this thing, get the trolling motor on there, get the fish finder, get all that stuff buttoned up, get it all together, guys. We are almost done. Thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. Be a part of this journey. Full playlist in the description below start to finish on this Jumbo project. As always, thank you for your support. Leave us a comment. Thanks for the view, guys. See you on the next video.